Hey Harry Potter fans, the Potter Collector here. Welcome back to my channel where we are a community of collectors. I've got a package that I wanted to open up for you guys today. It's a first printing of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the British edition. Um, I have a copy already, but it's not in fine condition. And this is the last book in the set that I needed besides Philosopher's Stone, because that would be impossible to find in fine condition for a reasonable price. But this is the last book of the Harry Potter series set and first printing that I needed to find in fine or as new condition. So, I'm very excited. All right, so here's a little lesson about packing a book. Um, wow. It doesn't look like the book is damaged though. See how the tape is like over that? and there's no barrier between the tape and the book. Well, the book is now stuck to the tape. So let's see, I'm gonna have to do this really slowly. Doesn't look like it's too bad, but... All right, got it. All right, let's take a look. I'm just gonna take it out of the dust wrapper, correct dust jacket. So this is a first edition dust jacket, so that's good. Beautiful corners. And a very lovely spine. So this is a as new or fine condition copy. And a first printing of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Let's take a look. I think, I think it was owned by a smoker at some point. It's a faint smell, but anyway, so here's the book. Beautiful corners. Front and back. Really sharp. Definitely an unread copy. And the all important number line. Ten to one. There it is. Alright, let's examine the dust jacket. Let's take it out of this protective sleeve. Probably give it a fresh sleeve. Phew. Yes, someone who owned this was just, ooh, it's a beautiful jacket though. Really nice, just a few little swirl marks on the front cover. But a first state. Who here can tell me what about this jacket says it's a first state dust jacket. Comment below. So overall, a really, really nice copy. Okay, so this is a super simple process. Um, you need three items. You need acid-free tape, scissors, and Broad Arts is the brand that I used. Um, dust jacket covers. Let's set the book aside. So we're gonna unroll the dust jacket cover roll and open up the dust jacket. And don't stretch the jacket out too much. And we're going to measure how much we need. So let's just say about there. Then we're gonna flip this over so that the front is face down. And then we'll open up this like so. The front of the dust jacket goes face down as well. And get it into this, uh, this little groove here. This is really the only tricky part that you have to have a little patience with. What I do is I kind of use my fingers on the dust jacket and slowly wiggle it down to the bottom of uh, to the bottom of the crease between the mylar, which is the clear part, and the paper backing. Once you've got it down to the, the very bottom, they have these um, these kind of markers that you can fold down or tear off if you want to. But I just fold mine down. And fold down the mylar over that making sure that the jacket is at the bottom of the crease. Because if it's not, then you'll see a white line, and that's not very attractive. Take your acid-free double-sided tape. Put that on the back. You don't really need double-sided tape, but I find it's easier to work with. And that's it. So the jacket is now covered and protected in mylar. To form it back onto the book, I place the book on the spine crease area. And you're gonna lift up the cover and fold the jacket where you already have a crease line. You flip this over. There 
and fold it over. And there you have a dust jacket covered in protective mylar. I'll post a link down below to where you can purchase the broadband dust jacket protectors. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or what you saw today, please leave me a message. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do is fine with me. And until next time, keep collecting! <laughs>